to Visa Funny Weekly News Report. Let's start with the headlines. Way to go, Uber B Seoul. Giant Asian Hornet Offensive. Argentina remains free of small hive beetles. North Carolina, 40 miles with loose bees in a car. Entertainment, movie quiz. Our picture of the week. And finally, our upcoming events. Good morning, I'm Yara J. And I'm Malvi. Happy Mother's Day! We'd like to wish a very happy Mother's Day to all the mothers around the world. And we want to give a little surprise to our dear mother. our dear mom. Okay, let's get back to the news now. We'll start in South Korea with a man whose name is Park Jean. He is a CEO of a fantastic organization called Urban B Seoul. Now, let me tell you the story about this news. Back in 2010, the central government of South Korea forced all beekeepers to destroy their hives after a nationwide sack brood virus outbreak. Wow. Almost 90% of the country's bee population was wiped out. This virus is also known as the Korean sack brood virus or KSBV which affects mainly the Apis serrana. This species is similar but smaller than the Apis mellifera. Some years after that event, Mr. Park didn't see any sign of recovery in the bee's population. What did he do? He quit his job and started Urban Beekeeping from the scratch in Seoul. Let's remember by the time the Urban Beekeeping practice was very unusual. Mr. Park told the Korean Times, when the bees were killed in 2010, it posed a threat of extinction to not just the species, but also other wildlife species they pollinate, like acacia, chestnuts, sunflower, and other related flowers we don't know of. And because he is such a smart man, he started to keep bees in the city, where he could inform people fast that bees are disappearing. Managing this idea more like a campaign than running a business. What a nice product they make! But that's not all. They also spend lots of time in schools teaching students the importance of bees in our environment and also provides other services like wasp nest removals. So, to Mr. Park, I'm putting the link of your B Soul down below and this is their Facebook. Thank you, Malvi. And what a great example from a beekeeper. All right, Asian hornets are on the move and have already reached England since last year, where a nest has been found in North Devon. Now, another one has been recently discovered in Lincolnshire. English beekeepers are not just sitting around playing with their thumbs. Instead, they developed a system that consists of an application for phones that one, warns them where the hornets are, and two, they teach the people so that they know the difference between their native hornet, the European hornet, or Vespa crabro, and the Asian hornet, or Vespa velutina. Here's the app that I'm talking about. This app is available in Google Play and in the App Store. I will leave the links down below this video and it is full of very cool and very useful information as well. 
And speaking about pests, and for our next report, Argentina remains free of small hive beetle. Argentina has declared a sanitary alert regarding this pest based on the risk of introductions from its neighboring country. The Argentinian National Service of Agrofoods Health and Quality, or SENASA, reports that due to the outbreak of a small hive beetle in Brazil, actions are underway to prevent their entry into Argentina. Let's remember that Argentinian beekeepers have been training since two years now to detect and develop a contingency plan. Even some areas were performing drills to reduce the reaction time to stop the spread of this pest. And also, several strategies implemented in Argentina is the creation of National Active Surveillance Network jointly developed by various institutions in the beekeeping sector. The small hive beetle has become a global threat to beekeeping. This insect has a fast ability of propagation and in less than 20 years it has moved from the United States to Mexico, going into El Salvador, Nicaragua and recently Brazil. So, to our Argentinian beekeepers, the best wishes and keep up the good work. All right, now for some local news. A beekeeper from North Carolina had to drive 40 miles or 64 kilometers to his home after a nuke of about 3,000 bees were loose inside his car when he came back after from looking into a restaurant. The beekeeper surprisingly came out with no stings. And my favorite part was when he said in traffic, the girls are out, Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Fortunately, Mr. Wallace Leatherwood made it back home safely. Now, for our entertainment section, we have two items. Last week we asked, what scene this movie is from? And wants nothing more than to make love to it. After the insect flies off, spots another soulmate flower and makes love to it, thus pollinating it. The answer was Adaption, a movie from 2002. Now, for this week's movie quiz. We are back on the road again tonight with a load of hives moving them to the blossom that means good honey. We're off to a new stand a hundred miles away. We have to be there by daybreak. We Australian beekeepers don't all leave our hives in one spot. Some of us are moving all the time. Leave us a comment down below if you know what movie this is. All right, let's get into the picture of the week now. This time it comes from Federal Way, Washington. Thank you, honeybee9999. <laughs> for sharing this lovely picture with us. If you want to follow them, here is their Instagram. And finally, our upcoming events. We have three of them. The first one, third Australian pollination and beekeeping for the Future Bee Congress from the 27th to the 30th of June, 2018 at the RACV Royal Pines Resort in the Gold Coast, Queensland. Some activities are the CRC for Honeybee Product Honey Competition. And there's also going to be a Kids and Bees event. That's cool. Second, the second annual Pollination Festival from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on June 2nd, 2018 at the Chino Basin Water Conservation District in San Bernardino, California. It is a free event that strives to raise awareness of pollinator declines and raise funds for pollinator sanctuaries. There's going to be live entertainment, butterfly house, free workshops, arts and crafts, and a farmer's market. And finally, Brazil celebrates their 22nd National Congress of Apriculture from the 16th to the 19th of May. That's coming up pretty soon. This will be held in Santa Catarina, so make sure you reserve your flight back a couple of days after the Congress. Don't forget swimsuit and camera because you're going to love those beaches. This concludes our weekly news report. Hit a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends and family. 
Leave a comment if you have any questions. And finally, and finally, get your tickets to go to Brazil. And finally, subscribe to our channel. My name is Yara. And my name is Melvi. Bye. And this is Bees Are Funny. I want to go to Brazil.